Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of America using DNA methylation clocks has shown that certain events can accelerate our biological age. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Cell Press that covers a study that was published in the journal Cell Metabolism, which looked into stressful events that can negatively affect a person's biological age in that these events can actually make them epigenetically older. And there are links in the description below to the study and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. The biological age of humans and mice undergoes a rapid increase in response to diverse forms of stress, i.e. we get older. However, this is reversed following recovery from that stressful event. This according to a study published in the journal Cell Metabolism. These changes occur over relatively short periods of time that can be days or even months, according to multiple independent epigenetic aging clock assessments. So if you are recovering from a stressful event and you conduct an epigenetic age test, could it give you a false reading? And if it does, could this trigger another stressful event? James White, PhD from the Department of Medicine at the Duke University School of Medicine and co-senior author of the study said, this finding of fluid fluctuating malleable age changes the long-standing conception of a unidirectional upward trajectory of biological age over the life course. Previous reports have hinted at the possibility of short-term fluctuations in biological age. But the question of whether such changes are reversible has until now remained unexplored. Critically, the triggers of such changes were also unknown. The biological age of organisms is thought to steadily increase over the course of a lifetime. But it is now clear the biological age is not indelibly linked to chronological age. Individuals can be biologically older or younger than their chronological age implies. There is increasing evidence in both animal and human models, which indicates the biological age can be influenced by many factors, including disease, drug treatment, lifestyle changes and changes in one's environment. Vadim Gladyshev, PhD of the Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard Medical School, and co-senior author of the study said, despite the widespread acknowledgement, the biological age is at least somewhat malleable. The extent to which biological age undergoes reversible changes throughout life and the events that trigger such changes remain unknown. To address this knowledge gap, the researchers leveraged the power of DNA methylation clocks. These age clocks were designed based on the observation that methylation levels of various sites throughout the genome predictably change over the course of chronological age. They measure changes in biological age in humans and in mice in response to various stressful stimuli. In one set of experiments, the researchers surgically attached pairs of mice that were three months old and 20 months old in a procedure known as heterochronic parabiosis or HP for short. The results revealed the biological age may increase over relatively short periods in response to stress, but this increase is transient and trends back towards baseline following recovery from that stressful event at epigenetic transcriptomic and metabolomic levels, the biological age of young mice was increased by HP, but was restored following surgical detachment. Jesse Progenek, PhD of Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard Medical School and first author of the study said, an increase in biological age upon exposure to aged blood is consistent with previous reports of detrimental age-related changes upon heterochronic blood exchange procedures. However, 
Reversibility of such changes, as we observed, has not yet been reported. From this initial insight, we hypothesized that other naturally occurring situations might also trigger reversible changes in biological age. As predicted, transient changes in biological age occurred during major surgery, pregnancy and severe COVID-19 infections in both humans or in mice. For example, trauma patients experienced a strong and rapid increase in biological age following emergency surgery. However, this increase was reversed and biological age was restored to baseline in the days following that surgery. Likewise, pregnant subjects experienced postpartum recovery of biological age at varying rates and varying magnitudes. And an immune suppressive drug called Atemera enhanced biological age recovery in recovering COVID-19 patients. Professor Gladyshev stated that the findings imply severe stress increases mortality, at least in part by increasing biological age. This notion immediately suggests that mortality may be decreased by reducing biological age and that the ability to recover from stress may be an important determinant of successful aging and longevity. Finally, biological age may be a useful parameter in assessing physiological stress and its relief. Interestingly, additional findings showed that second generation human DNA methylation clocks gave consistent outputs, whereas the first generation clocks generally lacked the sensitivity to detect transient changes in biological age. Professor Gladyshev said, whatever the underlying reason, these data highlight the critical importance of careful selection of DNA methylation clocks appropriate to the analysis at hand, especially in the light of many clocks continuously coming to the fore. Now, while the study highlights a previously unappreciated aspect of the nature of biological aging, the researchers acknowledge some very important limitations. Although they characterized the parabiosis model at multiple levels, they relied mainly on DNA methylation clocks to infer biological age in the human studies because these tools are the most powerful aging biomarkers that are currently available. In addition, the findings are limited to their ability to probe the connections between short-term fluctuations in biological age and the lifelong biological aging trajectories. Professor White closed by saying, our study uncovers a new layer of aging dynamics that should be considered in future studies. A key area for further investigation is understanding how transient elevations in biological age or successful recovery from such increases may contribute to accelerated aging over the life course. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, this study seemed to focus on areas with regard to aging increasing when it was to do with surgery, pregnancy and severe COVID-19 infections. And I was wondering what other type of things may trigger this advancement in age. So infections such as COVID-19, but not necessarily COVID-19 and operations, maybe dental, which aren't classed as major surgery. Could these advance um, biological age? I'd be interested to see what you think. Let me know in the comments of the YouTube video.